Hello, this is going to be like a story time video because I wanted to give closure to my Bordeaux uh, travelogue. So here's a little recap as some of the videos or pictures was not being included in the previous uh, video log that I put out uh, because you know I don't want the the other video log to be too long so it got cut up uh, pretty much so a lot of content during the uh, Bordeaux tour itself was not inside so I try to put as much as I can in here and hopefully it works here you can see us enjoying the merry-go-round. This is when we first arrived, which is on the 7th of September. There's also a couple of uh, missed out pictures that uh, from where we had our celebratory dinner at La Tupina. Other than that, the rest of the images that you see here will be the start of our chateau stay which is the remaining days that we have in Bordeaux. We will be visiting chateau, vineyard or winery, whatever you may call it, for wine tasting mainly and also to understand the land, the process of winemaking and other interesting facts about this place. To start off, we rent a car that could fit all five of us in it. it. It was very interesting indeed. So we started off with Clofruté. If I ever get that right, that's the name, Clofruté. The estate itself was quite lovely, but the wine, it's ex as per our expert on board, said that it was not as fine as they would like it to be. Other than that, I think the most interesting thing about this place was the cellar. The wine cellar is amazing, it's huge, it's like a cave down there. The humidity in this natural cellar is perfect for storing wine of all ages. I could even find wine in my year, the year that I was born. So they, it, it goes back as far as 1960-ish, I think. So the not so good side of this particular Clofroté is the host. He was accommodating, but he'd be better in business dealings than in tourism. So the tour itself wasn't as interesting, but the place is interesting. Uh, that's all I can say for this place. So that is Clofroté for you. And that was my humble review of Clofroté. Thereafter, we have some time, so we will be walking around saint Emilion. Other than the hot weather, we walked about uh, saint Emilion town, and we discover a little hideaway, a little restaurant that is quite cooling on the inside, even if we sit al fresco. And the food there is lovely, lovely. It's tasty, it's amazing. So we decided to have a lunch there. So we still have time to kill after lunch. So we decided to um, explore more of Saint Emilion before our next appointment at the next winery, which is Angelus. Before I forgot to mention that day was my birthday and it was celebrated in the most blessed way because of the people we meet at the Merdok Marathon event itself and the way that they celebrate for me was very memorable and I'll cherish this forever and thank you so much for all the four person that was with me through this trip you know it was really amazing I love them very very much and for all the people that I meet I hope that we will our path will cross again and that will be amazing and we will all have a drink together cheers my heart feel thanks to Limin, Lang, Peeling and Phyllis thank you very much and I love you girls 
I was quite fascinated with uh, Santa Million because it looks quite medieval, like you know, like in the olden days. So it, it's very, very nice to walk about. You know, just too bad that the weather is too hot. So we try to uh, keep a lot in the shadows, so so we don't get burned. Next, we are going to our next stop, Angeles. Now, Angeles, according to the guide, was revamped, I mean, rebuilt uh, some time ago. And except for the original architectural feature that was kept due to its uniqueness, especially the bell tower, was, was nicely done. But it was more of a modern vineyard, modern winery. As, as you can see, you know, the, the interior, everything is it's more modern like. The guide of Angelus was very chatty. She was very nice. She even played the Singapore National Anthem using the infamous Angelus bell. Well, there isn't much to say about Angelus, so I'll just end it here. That evening, we scouted another nice restaurant with a bar so we had a dinner there and it was it was very nice and they re-celebrate my birthday again on that evening and I wanted to thank the girls again it was amazing it, I had a really really good time and a good meal at that so that's all for this video and the next one will go to the next video that I put up Hopefully it doesn't bore you, but thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you again in the next travel. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah.